Hi, it's Victoria Rose here. How are you? I'm doing okay. It is a hot day out. I tell you what. As you guys know, it's been raining a lot. Now that the rain's done, the sun's come out, and it's very humid and very hot. So what better time to explore Japan's beaches for the very first time? I haven't really been out of Tokyo very much, the city area, so I have no idea what to expect of their beaches. I'm going to show you how to get to the beach from Tokyo and what the beach looks like because I, I absolutely, I didn't look it up, I have no idea. And I have on the swimsuit that I'm going to wear. Now, let's go to the beach. Okay, so I admit, this is a totally different day. This is like a different week. Uh, we, there were some complications that we didn't get to the beach that day. Still going to the beach in Tokyo. Don't know what to expect. Heard there's birds there. Before we go to the beach, we're gonna go to the 100 yen store and get some supplies. Haptic is gonna do something with. I'll link his channel. But um, yeah, so that's, what, that's the plan for today. So, pizza. <laughs> pizza in a bag. So the 100 yen store was closed down or something, so we're in Donkey. Oh, there's a lot of food here. I feel like we should take food to the beach, but I don't know what to take. I'm really hungry and everything looks good. Just some examples of Japanese snacks. In case you wondered, there's lots of different things to get and lots of different things to try. But I can't really eat. So do dairy. <laughs> Take that taxi. Aww. Took a nap on the train, and it's cool to be in a different spot. In um, yeah, don't do that because like when you train a horse, you use the little whippy things. Okay. Yeah. This is a smoking area on the beach. You have to go in that little prowl. <laughs> How's your bread?
right, so it's a couple days after the beach and I never got to do like a kind of a recap of what I thought of the beach in Tokyo. There's two beaches. Um, I only went to one of them when we only had time for one. And it was actually better than I thought. Uh, there are a lot of no tattoo signs like everywhere, but I really don't think people care. And if you do have tattoos, I wouldn't worry about getting in trouble about it because there's um, there's only so much they can do. I mean, it's a beach. Yeah, overall, it was a, a really nice beach. I would definitely go again. It was one of the prettiest sunsets I'd seen. Now I'm really curious about how like southern Japan looks beach-wise because I bet it's really beautiful. For a beach that's pretty close to the city, I'd say it was, a, it was an okay beach. It's definitely not like wonderful. There's a lot of like garbage and stuff, but it's a nice beach if you're visiting Tokyo, I'd recommend you going. So that is kind of my beach day video. I asked if you guys wanted to see that and I'm like, why not? So there you have it in case you're curious of the beaches here. So today I'm moving out of this apartment, which you guys are like, you just moved in. It, I can't believe that whole month has gone by. It may not seem like that for you guys because I don't upload as much as I used to, but a whole month has gone by and it's time for me to move because since it's kind of like more of a touristy season, they're renting this out for Airbnb and I can't stay here unless I'm paying day to day, which would be way too expensive so they can make more money. But they referred me to another property that is smaller and uh, I don't know if I should do an apartment tour for the next one or not. Let me know in the comments if you'd like another one. Kind of just showing you another Japan apartment but even smaller than this one. So I'm gonna like travel like it's about an hour from here and more towards Tokyo station I think and I'm gonna go live there. I don't know for how long, at least a month. <laughs> the next one is cheaper too, which is really great. Um, like I said before, this one's too expensive for me to even afford for another month. I don't know what to do with the garbage. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave it here. There's no like move out instructions and I paid like a uh, 300 plus dollar cleaning fee. So I'm hoping that they're just gonna clean it without question because my pillowcases are orange. There's a lot of garbage that I don't really know which day goes to which garbage uh, otherwise everything's fine that is the update i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you want more japan adventures i was thinking about the next place that i want to travel to because i can only be here like less than two more months and the cheapest place to travel to would be korea leave some comments of places i know i keep asking this because i'm so undecided in my mind first it was australia then it was korea new york i was thinking about living in new york uh, going to Europe or the UK, London. I don't know, there's lots of choices. Uh, it really comes down to what I can afford at the time. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna go move, and I'll see you in the next apartment in the next video. Okay, I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial. Goodbye.